By the end of this video, you will be able to make your player jump using either the keyboard or a plugged in controller. Let's get started. I think it's only fair if we give our player something to jump over. So let's go ahead here, create a new game object, and we'll just call this wall. I'll reposition this to zero, zero. I'm gonna go to add component and add a sprite renderer. And I'm going to take one of these dirt blocks here. Uh, this one here looks pretty even. Drag that in. And then we are going to change the draw mode to tile. And we're going to just increase its height and its width. And then I'm just going to position it over. A little too big. So let's go lower the height a bit. And there we go. And I, I also want this to appear behind the ground. So I'm going to go down here onto its additional settings and change its order and layer to minus one, meaning that it should render behind the ground over here. And of course, I'll also need to give this a box collider 2D. So we'll go here, type box collider, add a 2D box collider. We'll expand it and check its auto tiling. And now we can start adding some jump logic. To do so, we're going to go back up here we're going to go into our scripts folder right click go to create a new c sharp script and we'll call this player jump and we're going to go drag this player jump onto the player i also want it to appear next to the player movement script so i'm going to click these three dots and say move up and that just helps reposition that let's go ahead and enter the player jump script within the jump script i'm going to need access to the player's rigid body because we'll be controlling the jump through physics and we use the rigid body with physics so i'm going to make a square bracket serialize field private rigid body 2d and we'll just name that rigid body 2d and then i'm also going to need a private float which is going to be our jump force and i'll just assign that a default value of say six uh, and i am making this a serialized field because we may want to play with that number in the unity inspector also it is throwing a bit of an error here uh, this is just due to the naming that unity itself suggested for this variable so i'm just going to change the naming of it we'll just make it rigid body spelt like that, remove the 2D and change the B to a capital. Uh, and then this way, the actual variable name is different than anything that's built into the rigid body 2D component. Next, we don't need start as we will be using update for this. And also I don't want to put my logic directly in update. So I'm going to make a new private void and call this jump. And then within update, I can say if and we're going to use an if statement here. Now there's a couple of different ways we could do this, but basically we want to listen for the proper keyboard input. So we could say input dot get key down, and then we could put key code dot whatever we want to use for our jump. So I could say space, and this would work perfectly fine, but why don't we already set it up so we can use the space button or a plugged in joystick to make our player jump. If we go back into Unity and go to edit and project settings, we can go into the input manager and we can see what input commands are already hooked up. There's already one here for jump, which means if we use input.getButton down and type jump, we can use the positive button, which is mapped to space, to make our player jump. There's also one for horizontal, which we used earlier, which is mapped to the left and right arrow keys, as well as the A and D buttons. And if I look a little further down, I'm going to see jump is here again, and this time it's mapped to joystick button 3. If we take a look at this Xbox controller mapping, we can see that each button has its own numerical input value. 3 refers to the Y button, which I don't think makes much sense for jump. I would prefer it to either be A, which is 0, or B, which is 1. For my own purposes, I'm going to go ahead and set my input to zero for jump. So I'm going to go back into Unity and I'm going to change this joystick button three to joystick button zero for my jump. With that, I can dive back into the code and instead of saying input.getKey down, I can change the word key to get button down. And now it gives an error here because we're not looking for a key code anymore. I'm going to delete keycode.space and I'm instead going to put in quotation marks jump. And just to test this out to see if it works, I can just log this out by saying print jump. If I press space, I can see it's saying jump and it's printing multiple times over here. And if I press the A button on my plugged in Xbox controller, it's also saying jump. So that is mapped perfectly. I can delete this print statement and instead I can say rigid body 
and say dot add force and now I'm going to open a parentheses and it's going to tell us what it's looking for. It's looking for a vector 2 that's going to add some force. Our jump doesn't need to have any x force so we can go ahead and add a vector 2 dot up which is pre-built into unity and is shorthand for writing 0 1 meaning 0 x value and positive 1 y value. Perfect for making our character jump. So we can multiply this by our jump force. And then we can press comma and we'll be prompted to add a force mode 2D. There are two options, force or impulse. Impulse is like hitting a pool ball with a pool cue. It's an instantaneous force. The other one is more like pushing a car. It's a slow, gradual force. Is the parking brake on? For a jump, we want to use impulse. First, let's make sure we hook up our rigid body to the player. So I'm going to take this and drag it in here. Then I'm going to hit play and I'm going to press space and I'm going to see that we do indeed jump. However, if I press space again, we can just keep jumping up infinitely, which obviously is not how a jump should work. So the next thing we need to do is add a grounded check to make sure that we can only jump if our player is touching the ground. In the next video, we'll be introducing ray casting in order to fix our jumping issue. I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.